Yeah, I'm just joining you. I see you. Waiting for server. Okay, do you want to meet me in the main room? There you are. If you're on the party invite, let me share my quest with you. Thank you. Okay. Do you want to bring us in? Sure. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Seven Days to Die with me. She lab and Avaku seems to have. Uh, that looks like a cup of tea. No, it's, it's a, a bandage. bandage. It's a, I would looks, like to imagine what, what, that you what? had a cup of tea in your hand. But if only work. I could have a cup of anything. The best I can have is this 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 mason jar looking thing. Honestly, the bandage looked more like a cup of tea than the mason jar. Does. But yeah, yeah, I think that, that we should <sighs> ask for that for Alpha Nineteen. <laughs> proper cups of tea. Well, we're gonna start the day the right way. Gonna have myself a bacon and egg from the chest. Bacon and egg. And then. Slippity. Ah, there we go. Perfect. Uh, and on that note, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make as many hobo stews as I possibly can. This is going to use all of the remaining... Um, oh, actually, yeah, yeah, all of the remaining rotten flesh. So 21 oh, hobo uh, stews. <laughs> it's going to take two hours to finish cooking. It's good to get used to get, yeah. sorry, get rid of them though, isn't it? Yeah. It is, yeah. But that's going to take a while. Uh, there we go. Yes. That fire is not going to finish doing its job for, well, a bit. For the next two episodes. Oh, well. We might so need to make a second one like at some point. all of this stone that I mined out. Yes, please. If you could pop that into the building chest, that would be glorious. Yep. There you go. I am presently still smelting down all of the tools. Ah. The old tools that so, we no longer need. We'll probably sacrifice an anvil or two in there as well. Okay. So I'm going to um, go and have a little look at what you've been working on with the drawbridge. Oh yeah, starting to look nice. There we go. I guess I'll grab the place all out of there for now. Right, I've got to smelt the stone into the forge to be able to make cement. And then you can make concrete mix after that. Uh, I forget uh, the the recipe, but I believe it's stone, yeah, cement and crushed sand. So it's gonna be a little bit of time. Uh, on that note, how much crushed sand do we have? Um, not that much, actually. So I'm gonna go and crush a bunch more. Crush some more in the cement. May as well while you. we're doing it. So there we go. Get 807. Is there anything maybe. else that you need other than all that stone? No, stone is, is really the uh, the the main the main thing holding us back there. Okay, um, well I shall carry on with that room then, I guess. Right now, before you do, before you mm. do, are you wanting me to be making any steel tools for you? Um, I've got an iron fire axe, a steel pickaxe. Well. I can make a steel fire axe, steel pickaxe, steel shovel. I can make all of those things at this point. Steel fire axe. I've got a steel shovel and a steel pickaxe. So. What quality are they, though? How often do you have to quality, repair them? Quality two and the iron fire axe is a quality three. I'll go ahead and I'll make a, a full set of everything because I can nice. make quality sixes of them. So wow. it'll just cut down on the amount of repairing we're having to do. Yeah. Because the thing is, like, it's, it's like, oh, yeah, you've got all these mod slots with this level 6 thing. I'm not going to have that many mods. Yeah, no. Not different kinds. Anyway. Right, we are going to need ooh, a fair bit of clay for this, unfortunately. Okay. Yeah, we're going to need a lot more clay. Oh, you know what I need to do? Hmm. All right, I need to get out into the world. Right, first, I need to repair the auger. Right, so I need another repair kit. Whatever that should are. be in the tools. I keep them in the tool chest. 
Yeah. It seems like so the best place to put them, honestly. Fairly fast, because I keep having to repair this auger, right? Yeah. So I could On that note. Take the auger and get you some I can make oil. an auger at this point. And I can probably make a... Well, you'd That's still need to re refuel it, but I can make one that is, yeah, again, quality six. Do it, uh, yeah, if that's going to mean it need, needs less repair kits, that'd be yeah. great, because the repair kits are, are going uh, down They're a fast, little bit more cause... expensive, yeah. Well, I've got 45 steel. I'm going to go ahead and make a, I believe I can make a steel fire axe. Let's get that on the go. And then a better steel pickaxe. Get that on the go. There we go. It'll take about three minutes for all of that to be done. Do you have any forged steel to repair um, wrenches with? Because I'm going to go out and get loads I did. of dirt. But what, ca loads what quality wrench cars. have you got? Right, I have a level two quality wrench. You know what? Sure. Use that because it's going to be a little while before I make a, another one. But I can make yeah. wrenches now as well. Uh, they're actually not hard to make. Uh, I've got a level 5, so it doesn't make much sense for me to make a new one, but it shouldn't be too long before we can make one for you. But yeah, we are we are absolutely going to require more in the way of um, clay. It's probably yeah, the bigger thing in we the need way, right now. In the way of fuel, because fuel is getting really low. Yeah. So that okay. is what I will do today, clay and fuel. Very well. I'm just going to refresh our defenses, make sure that there are spikes all the way around it. Everywhere needs a spike, no holes. Not even one. Ideally, there we go. I think, in fact, that that's it. Hello. Well, seems we got a witch, and with the witch, because of our game stage, we've got some runners. Do you want me to come back? It's in your little uh, defensive fort, so sure. Hop on up. Are they coming up to us? They are going straight for that wall. Yeah, they are definitely trying to get through that wall. Okay. I'm going to break this That's down then. No, no, no. It's, it's good to see. It's good to see. Because that tells us all we need to know about that ladder. Ah. There we go. Remove that. I should still be able to jump up there. And yeah, now they're having to come up. It's the only realistic way that they can do it. Where is she? Okay. Should we let her? Oh, she's bringing in a lot of other screamers. Yeah. I'm going to start popping them. So what was it that was causing them to break the wall? I think the ladder... Because it was giving them a valid ah. path that involved just going through the wall. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Yeah, we've got to be careful with ladders, haven't we? Yeah. There we go. We've got a decent amount of them now. I'm going to be crossing behind you. But not over your firing line. Take out that mow from over here if I can. Oh, that was a terrible shot. Straight over his shoulder. Don't want him to waste the uh, durability on my steel spikes if I can avoid it. There we go. Okay, I'm going to be behind you, standing. Can you crouch? Hey, do you want me to crouch? Yeah, yeah. good. Thank you. So now I'm not crouching for uh, extra points or anything extra damage, it's just to give Avak a line of sight. Yeah. The only thing crouching does is is uh, increases your stealth. It doesn't increase your damage or accuracy, as far as I'm aware. I might be wrong about that, though. There we go. Now, we're not far off the next Horde line, actually. We're on day 34, and the next oh, Horde yeah, is next 35. Episode, isn't it? Yep. Yeah. So come the but next then again, night. We're pretty, we're pretty good for it. Think. We've done a lot of stuff. To... Did I just what, what hit that? you? Yeah, I think you did. Wow. On my screen, I was very clearly shooting over your head. And then it suddenly exploded. It's like, what? 
I thought there was like suddenly some zombie behind me or something. I was like, no. where the hell's that come from? No, I'm so sorry about that. That's okay. But, uh, I'm, no. already, I'm always shredding you. That was definitely a, a case club. of uh, unexpectedly large hitbox. Very unexpectedly large hitbox. Well, what we could still do if you wanted is like what we had before one time and mm -hmm. have a second level so someone can shoot down from uh, Yeah, that may actually be worth doing, though it would involve Just in case, reinforcing you know. that area. Um, generally speaking, it isn't necessary for us because we don't fight at the same place. Yeah. It's only in, in these instances does that happen. Or you could even just stick a ladder on so someone could just stand on top if it if it's just the odd little bit of help they're giving, you know? Yeah. And then most of the time we're fighting in our own bits, but... Yeah. Uh, I need to go and grab some forged iron. I don't have enough clay anymore. Well, that. There was one piece of forged... Oh, that was steel. Sorry, forged steel. That's okay. Uh, we've got a tiny right, bit of forge I'll go on. I'll go on. Uh, where did I put my motorbike? Oh, I picked it up, didn't I? Right. Got your fire axe. Go on. You? on. She lab. What? Got your fire axe for you. Oh, thank you. I will leave it in the tools chest. Okay, I'll come. But I'll come for it later because I don't need it right now. Fair enough. And I know you're making the other things, so I don't want to have to come back for every single individual one. I'll just get pick more. No, it was just a fire axe that you were getting for now. Oh, right, right, right. yeah. Because, of course, there's the other things. Um, the other things are going to take much more up. forged iron. I'm going to re I'm going to replace... I've got replacing my pick right now, and I'm also going to replace my fire axe, because, like you, I mm -hmm. also have a, a an no, iron one at the moment. But following that... Like once we're done here, I'm gonna say probably time for us to head out and complete the quest. Ideally. Okay, well I'm just gonna basically stop by every car I see and get fuel out of it. Right. I'm just gonna repair the damaged um spikes and also replace any spikes that are missing but i'm fairly certain that we now have a full perimeter of spikes and these things are very damaging they take a lot of punishment before they break and whilst they're active they can do an awful lot of damage to anything trying to walk through them they are a very very good defense some people rely entirely on them and i find that that's a little bit boring as far as the defences go, I don't... Ah, uh, oh, damn it, I'm just shy of forged iron there. I, I don't uh, especially like defences that are only based on spikes, just layers upon layers upon layers of spikes. Uh, not only yeah. because... Oh, damn it. Uh, no, I ran out of stamina. Uh, not only because it's an enormous amount of maintenance to have to repair them, but because you don't get any XP from it. Um... Perhaps if you did get some EXP, I'd, I'd be more inclined. But as far as automated defenses, I feel that the just rows and rows of spikes is a little bit uninspired. Um, but in addition to that, the the fact that once they they are broken within uh, just a, a small amount of them, they will funnel through that area because the pathing will see, oh yeah, well I don't have to bash through an iron spike to get there if I just walk through the, the tiny little corridor that's been made. Now, you can use yeah. that to funnel and that's actually kind of a, a cool mechanic, uh, a cool uh, method of doing it in my opinion, but it, it, it's, it definitely does leave a bit to be desired in my, in my humble opinion on, on that one. Let's pop the uh, steel pickaxe in there. Go down and grab my fire axe. It should be ready now. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Right. I am about ready to head out to the quest if you are, Sheila. Oh, I'm like in the middle of a junkyard. Oh, that's okay. Picking you can... up gas barrels and stuff. Sure, if you want to take a little bit more time. There we are. Got my nice highest tier fire axe now. Great. That means you can go up there to be smelted. Ah, uh, I, I guess I could repair this and sell it. Yeah, we'll sell a, a quality four iron fire axe. Probably good with it. 
Yeah, quite worth it, I would say. Uh, yeah, we are going to need a lot of clay, though. It means I am going to need to gather some clay, which does mean I need to spend some of my steel on repairing that shovel. Annoying, though it is. This is the way of things. Those garden hoes can be smelted, though. They're only level one. They are not worth keep keeping with us. And this shotgun is only a level two. Also not worth keeping with us. Got that. I'm hoping to go up there. There we are. That's a bit better. Alright. Uh, Hello, friends. Stupid amounts of ammo. At this point, I don't think carrying a torch around is really necessary. So I'm going to pop it into the uh, secure storage chest. Yeah. Hey, no. I am going to go out and repair that little uh, wall before I wrap things up in the base. Sheila, how long do you think you're going to be before you get back to base? Oh, I come back now. Okay. I just wanted to get a little bit of uh, like extra fuel. I got 500 cans and a gas barrel. Can? Oh, right. 600. So, oh, right, right, yeah, Jerry. <laughs> I've got 500, you know, 500 gas barrels. Not much, you know. It, it'll, it'll do all right for now, mm. right? <laughs> to which I had two questions. One, where on earth did you find it? Did you, like, raid an oil refinery? And B, how much fuel does an organ actually use? <laughs> if you're like, yeah, you know, it's all right, like, I'll get by. It'll I'll last us for a it. day. <laughs> My lord. Yeah, 500 little cans, not 500 big barrels. Yes. Yes, I understand now. But for a moment. We still need to get a uh, tool and die set. Okay, I'm back at the base now. Okay. I'm going to load my motorbike up with um, all the things I'm going to sell. And if I get a chance. And we're ready to go. Have you got the quest? Um, Tier 2, fetch and clear. Clear area, retrieve supplies 1.1 kilometers away. Yep. Indeed. Yeah. Have a look out there. Uh, where are you? I need to make sure the right quest is the one being marked on my map. Alright, it's back in the Badlands then. This one is actually a Badlands map as well, so. Oh, it's a bear. Do you we want can to live today, bear? Are you sure? No, we can kill it if you want. Is it a zombie bear? It's a bear bear. I don't know. What's the difference? The zombie bear is significantly tougher, much, much more dangerous, and it's a zombie. It looks like it might be a normal bear, but. Uh, if it's a normal bear, let's leave it. There's no reason to, to rob nature of a fairly scarce resource these days. That's the thing, you're saying it's a lot tougher and stuff. I was like, visibly, visually, how do you tell the difference? Same way you, like, although there aren't actual dogs in the game, you know how the kind of visuals of a zombie dog are very zombie? It's like sort of... Yeah, yeah chunks yeah, of exposed sort of... ribs and like cheeks missing, yeah, yeah, that sort yeah. of thing. It's exactly the same as zombie bear. Also, it's got more of a ah. pallid green texture to it. Kind of like uh, its its flesh is is uh, well rotting. Fair enough. There we go. Half a kilometer away. There's a car on the wrong road though. Uh, it looks like a fresh one, so yeah, sure. I'll uh, quickly strip this one apart. I'm in the middle of the road. I apologize. It's okay. I'll get some extra fuel from this. Mine I'm going to ship down the next one down the road as well. Okay. So that looks pretty whole. Only to be eaten by vultures, probably. It should be okay. Strip this whole thing down if I can. We're not even midday yet, so it's fine. Oh, yeah. 
Got a bit of gas from that. I'll strip this one as well. It's in good enough nick to have fuel in it, so might as well. I, I swear, playing this game really does give me super, super strong urge to be playing Cataclysm as well. And Project Zomboid to a degree. I haven't played Project Zomboid much though. Um, I know the Project Zomboid is a multiplayer game. But uh, I haven't played it in so long. For those who followed Project Zomboid, uh, it's it's kind of like an isometric uh, zombie game, much like much like Cataclysm, much like Seven Days. However, the last time I was actively following it, or in fact even played it, was way back when, around the time that the devs got their house burgled, and their laptop with all of the source code on it got stolen, <laughs> when they didn't have any other backup. It was like, wow. It's pretty devastating. Yeah. Also, wow. Really? You didn't have any backups? My lord. I don't like have backups of, say, like videos and stuff, but then that's like a video, not a whole game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, exactly. I have backups I of my videos, setup. actually. Um, I would have better backups of my videos if I had a bit more in the way of like money, technology, hard drives, that sort of thing, but... Airdrop. I'm uh, still one of those salutated sure, string okay. YouTubers. I'm going to head out and grab that airdrop, air supply. Okay. I'll be back in a, in a few. It doesn't oh, look like it's too well far close. out. Oh my goodness, what happened over here? That's like a bloody crater in the ground. Uh, but yeah. Um, I'll just take down some more cars while you go and do sure. that Sure, yeah, by all means. I'm pretty low tech when it comes to backing up my videos in that I have all my backups on an external hard drive. Well, several external hard drives. Um, oh, really? Is it falling here? Oh, so it is. Did a second one drop? I was sure I was heading towards something that wasn't right above me, but okay. Um, there was, it might still, it's still falling, by the way. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm right beneath it. Okay, just making sure that you weren't like, oh, I don't know where it is, because it's. I had one before that I got to it before it even fell out of the sky. Yeah, I know that, that's the case here, but on my screen initially, I'm pretty certain that it was somewhere else. I know that sounds odd, but yeah. I'm certain that it was further out. Here we go. Supply crate contained. Da -ba -da -ba -da. Food and an SMG and some 9 mil. That's not too bad. Quite happy to take the nine mil. I'll be honest. Right, heading back to you now. Oh, Junkyard down it. here. Blinking football zombie. Yeah, always runners. Whomp. And you as well. Whomp. Oh, that was a good connection. I hate you. What did I do? No, no, no the zombie. Whomp. We've got a runner, uh, sorry, uh, a dog here. Whereabouts are you? I've got my pistol out and I'm here and I can shoot it if you want. I just smacked it. I was just uh, keeping it down. Right. Anything else we need to be aware of out here? Are we good? I don't think so, just anything that heard my pistol shots, I guess. That's okay. Well, let's head on to the. Uh, the quest area then. Fire department. There's some decent stuff in there. But yeah, as I was saying, you know, they they lost their all of their backups to a, to a burglary. That, that devastating. What a shame, though. Yeah. And in terms of my backups, uh, yeah, I keep all of mine on external hard drive. But I really, really should look into getting a central file server for the house. Considering there's two yeah. of us who've got an awful lot of very valuable data that they need to keep safe. At the very least, have multiple copies of. Now, where is this quest? Is it this one? Yes, so it is. Very well. Then I shall park on the road over here. There's a trailer park right there. Vultures in the sky. Mm. Disapprove. Plenty of zombies behind us. Gotta love the badlands. Gotta love the badlands. One down. There they are. They'll both be heading toward us now. 
down. Oh, shit, over the side. There, yeah, he's down. The vulture coming in? No, good. Uh, oh, actually, no, it's right above me. Never mind. No, no, they won't come in until you least expect it. Yeah, until I'm looking the other way. Which, I'm not even, I'm not even gonna hold against them. That, that's just solid, good planning. How can I hold that against them? That, that, that's exactly what they should be doing. Let's uh, refuel this. Yeah. And I'll drop the rest of the fuel off. Uh, do you want me to refuel your bike? I oh, just refueled I it. It should, take, it should be fairly uh, Yeah. Well. Okay. Got it. Well done. Thank you. Right, let's just get straight in there and do the quest, rather than yeah. uh, faff around with it. There's These quests are now taking us to good areas to loot, by the way. They, they are good areas at this point. Our quests yeah. are taking us to interesting locations. And once we get to tier 3, regardless how much loot we've got, we are going to be looting these places thoroughly. But this is clear areas and then find supplies. So let's make our way through. And then we'll loot. Up the coat. It wants us to go up this way. You've got to look for the way that doesn't involve you having to break anything. That is yeah. the way that the, the experience is meant to be had. You just broke the roof. What are you trying to say? How the tile just rude. fell through. Not that big. Okay, we've got a couple. Let me out. Ooh. It's fine. Good. Yeah. There's a spider somewhere. I'm going in with melee. Ah, it's annoying that the spiders are walking up, but okay. Not much we can do about it. Just keep careful. I can see them on my radar where they are. Do you want but... me to leave you an escape route? Uh, no, we should be okay. No, you're okay, you're okay. Damn. Fire axe out. Just keep an eye on that door, basically. Yeah, I yeah. am. That is sounding really close now. Is it outside? No, they're down below us there. Alright, I'm gonna head out and kill them downstairs because they're trying to get out to us from downstairs, so. Yeah, they're trying. They're all awake at this point, so I'm just gonna hack through a wall. There's not much reason not to. Box this bad wire so I don't hurt myself. There you are. How's it going, buddyos? Okay, they're coming out. Taking off one of his legs. He can still jump, though. Impressive. Ouch. No. Taking off one of his arms. How are you bouncing around still? You little cheat. You, you've got one arm and one leg. I feel that you shouldn't be hopping around like a bloody frog at that point. At yeah. that stage, I feel that your capacity for... Bouncy shenanigans should be great. Like reduced. magic. Yeah, but I suppose at least that means he's not making all that noise, which is was freaking us out, to be honest, wasn't it? Yeah, it's so hard to be uh cautious while you're investigating with one of those things just mewling like, ah, madly. Rah. Yeah. Got a purse here. Some pills. I somehow managed to break what was beyond that. Okay, we've got some things come through. Nothing too terrible. A mow. A feral mow. Oh, damn it, come on. I need better swinging. Thank you. Oh, he's got me again. Stand again. Well done. Gonna bandage up. There we go. 
But yeah, um, once we've got the enhancements to combat that allow you to take, uh, to hit things in the arc of the swing. Oh, man, that's going to be so good. Right, now this is a fetch quest oh, as well. Oh, there's a zombie coming this way. Feral? I don't know what she is. I don't know what she is. Okay. I'm going to hack through the store. No, she's her. moving slowly. Wow, nice shot. Thanks. You're quite welcome. Ooh, eight it, forged steel on that. Wow. Genuinely awesome. The uh, item that we're looking for is, of course, downstairs. Because why would it be upstairs when it could be downstairs? When you have to come in upstairs, it's the obvious place to put something. Wall safe. Two wall safes. Do we have a sledge with us, she have? No. Okay. Well. We do have pickaxes, yeah, though. Yeah, I was going to say. Now, in Alpha 18, there are going to be picks. Uh, there's going to be a whole, like, uh, perk tree for basically demolitions and picking locks and the likes. Like, it's shaped charges, lock picks, literal lock picks. So it's going to be quite an interesting, uh, interesting looting experience, definitely. Would an auger get through this? I don't... Well, I, it would, but I don't think it's the right tool for the job. No. <laughs> Wishful thing. You don't want me making that much noise, either. No. That one's broken. We've got... Ooh, the hunter. Increases damage to living beings. So that would be good on... Anything you take out? Fighting... Uh, for, for just literal hunting. Hunting animals, yeah. yeah. So I'll pop it on my crossbow. Hunting steel crossbow bolts. It still makes my crossbow better at being a crossbow. Um, in the same way that any any um, mod uh, improves things. All right, okay. If you want to grab your shovel, I'm going to start pulling these things down bit by bit. Where I can. And you can gather the... The yeah, there's like cement boxes and stuff like that. Blue things. Yeah. Well, secret way down to the cellar, I guess. Yep. Now, that'll that'll just be straight downstairs. Basically, the, if you if you consider the way that this like whole area is set up. That was clearly some sort of uh, last-ditch effort. They, they barricaded themselves in, in an, uh, an attempt to prevent uh, the zombies from getting here. But it didn't work. Alas. And now they are zombies too. More than likely. But once we get to the, like, the level 3, the tier 3 quest, these places are going to be huge. They're going to be like you know all kinds of weird mansions with secret underground dungeons and you know military labs kind of resident evil style sort of stuff so that'll be Zombie quite fun on her way well done on the way zombie has been neutralized i see yes now again there is a way that you would go through here and unfortunately we've we've massively um broken that uh, that path but I will go through it the way I should have no she is not right, I'm Ow. coming through one down oh, I smacked you sorry still okay. up. you went down a lot faster than I was expecting him to Man, their friendly fire incidences are going up. That's a worrying trend. They should be going down. Snake somewhere. Yeah, I'm I sure where. Too. Got a suitcase. Got a backpack. Keep an eye on your um, monitor showing you where your loot is. It may well be somewhere yes. other than that. Up, it says. Okay, then yours is probably upstairs in the attic. I'm taking it. You got him. Got him. Your one, too. Or another one on the way. Right. 
Reserve stamina, let it regenerate. Moving in for an attack. Oh, that might be threw him off course with the thing. Sorry. Never mind, no, 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 that's fine. I was trying to keep stamina. Um, I was just trying to uh, preserve ammo, sorry, not stamina. Sorry. Nothing in there. Oh, dogs. Yeah, probably best to switch over to it. You can see this place really was, you know, properly fortified. They're coming through that wall. Something's coming through the wall, right? Switching over to my crossbow. Because I don't know what's coming over. Dog, probably. You got a sight? Buddy. Oh, damn it. I was loading the wrong ammo. What ammo am I using? Where is that? Oh, hiya. Oh, we've got a few of them. Got it in the face. Sorry, I was bleeding out. So That's okay. You it. just focus on that. Have you sorted it? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, good. Alright then. You come back through. I'll gather their corpses. Oh, well done. There's a lot of nastiness in here. Yep. Ooh, man, to get to there. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. What time do you need to reload? Hello. Hmm, missed. What oh, happened there? Oh, the door closed. Door shut. I was deeply concerned. It's like did something just rush past me? But by the looks of it, the intended path was to come across, fall down into the basement because there's no other path to take, rather than demolishing the, the barricade. Probably then go down into the basement and then finally come up along the ladder that we've already exposed by having demolished everything and end up on the roof. Again, there is a lot of fun to following the, this the way you're meant to. There are mines all over the place. Be aware. Okay. So this place was heavily barricaded. It, it, every one of these places tells a story. They really do. And if you take the time to, to watch the story... There we go. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah. I actually like going through these, generally speaking, without demolishing the terrain. Just to see what kind of story it tells. Some of the bars are really fun for that, actually. Um, like the biker bars and things like that. My inventory management is not managed. No, I didn't um, manage mine either. This. I didn't even really. Have you got jeans on? Uh, um, oh, I don't know what I got on. Overalls, purple overalls. Would you like? Uh, well, the overalls are probably just as good. Actually, thinking about it. Yeah, they're pretty decent. Um. Hmm. I'm going to gobble down these pills while I'm here. Bonk. There we go. I'll give myself some fortitude bonuses. What do we have here? Locked door. Okay. So yeah, lots more barricading going on. Grab the chairs while we're here. Take those with. Got a fair bit of time yet to complete this. It's only 6 p.m. That sucks when you find a secret place. And it's got nothing in there. And then it's got, no, it's got a, yeah, it's got a backpack and there's nothing in the backpack. Yeah, that does suck quite a lot, actually. But I worked to find this. Watch out, the, this is the area with the mines. So be aware that that's a possibility. I can only see one mine, is that right? Yeah, that's the only one I've seen so far. But because there's one, there's a possibility of others. So it's more, just keep your eyes peeled, basically. This is not necessarily a safe house to be in. It goes down. Whoever had there. this place was uh, very, very wise. They they made a good effort. They, they stood against the zombie menace for a while. Okay, we definitely got something down here. Yeah, there's quite a few more zombies down here, actually. I'm going to gobble down some food. Steady my nerves with a sip of red tea. There we go. 
Okay, what else have we got? She's properly gone. I've got a view on a nurse. Did not hit. No, I'm not going to get a shot on that nurse, unfortunately, from this angle. Yeah. I'm afraid we're probably going to have to go... In. Oh, we've got someone coming through the door. He's down. Go and um, just beat up the nurse. Yeah. That's come through. Military zombies walking up in the background. Two. One down. The fact that there are military zombies here, I feel is telling a bit of a story. Perhaps this was uh, maybe a military family. And that would explain why they fared a bit better. They knew what to do. How yeah. to barricade yeah. themselves in. That would make sense. Um... I don't want to break down the chairs, honestly, but at the same time, my inventory is now completely full. Have you got room in yours? Not at all. None at all. Well, I've got, mm. I've got like um, got shotgun, six slots left. Yeah, I, I am completely full. But I'm just going to scrap the chairs at this point. There's no reason not to. To be fair, I'm also going to scrap some of the clothing that I'm picking up. Not much reason to have that. Die. Uh, purple overalls. Did you say Shall pink I? die? Yeah. Stupid sham sandwiches. Hang on. Hmm, too late. I was going to say, uh, are the overalls in your leg slots or your body slot? Leg slot. Oh, okay, fair enough. Think. Where are the dogs? No idea. Got my pistol Closing out. this door behind us. They come through there. They're going to have to beat through the door. Search cabinet. Call if you no, get sight a... on him. They don't seem to be down here, I don't think. Hang on a second. Why is that... Uh... There is a uh, picture upside down there in here. Both of the pictures are upside down. Hmm. But I smashed one thinking, oh, maybe that means something. But it didn't. Much sadness. No, I didn't. Hmm. I wonder, though, why that is. Uh, is there anything I can break down in here that I don't need? It sounds super loud. I just don't know where they are. There's a room in the middle here that goes up back to that central ladder. Yeah, behind you. Bad time to look away, I guess. There we go. Secure satchel. Yeah, Found like... It. I'm going to have to scrap some things so I can pick that up. There we go. Quest complete there. I wonder where it was, because I looked everywhere. I mean, it was it might have been randomly. upstairs, it must have dropped I don't know. Down the... Do you want to take some of the, the items that I'm carrying? Because I am i can't carry a single yeah, thing Yeah, give more. me a couple more, a couple of them. Um, mm. Right, I'm going to... Do you want... To... I think the leather duster is worth taking with us. I'm compressing a lot of oh, stuff no, in there. Oh no, my inventory's completely full. Okay, Damn. never mind. I'll grab it all. That's fine. I've made a little room by compressing just a little bit now, but lead weights can be immediately scrapped into lead. Scrap down like empty cans. Glass, I am not taking with me. That can stay. Probably don't even need the the paper. That's my fault bit. for uh, not properly. Emptying things to eat, not even into my motorbike properly. Have you gotten everything you needed from the um, satchels and stuff? No, I need my satchels upstairs somewhere. Okay. I don't know where. Some nails. Not too bad. Generator. Ooh, what I wouldn't give if I could pick that up. I'm going to be so happy. 
No. It is uh, the broken. Much sadness. Oh, great. There's loads of zombies on this level. Upstairs? Yeah. I thought we'd already been up there. No, no, Oops. we didn't come from upstairs. Are you pulling back down here? Yeah, I'm down on the, the level below, but... I don't know Let how many of them are going to come down. Probably quite a few. Let me know when you're out of that little area so I can come and help. Yeah, I'm I'm in a room behind. They've all come around. Okay, I see. And I'm just going to... One is a feral. Well, upstairs. You didn't come back down. I'm coming up to you now. I'm really far away though. I'm so sorry. Dead down. Okay. Had to use a little bit of ammo, I'm afraid. But oh, no, that's okay. It's better than uh, losing your life. Sorry about that. I I was right, waiting I for you to come all the way back down the stairs, but you got off on the on the second uh, on the first floor. Oh log. no, no, so that's fine. That's fine. I've probably got most of them now. I'll head up and see if I can find my supplies. Yeah, we've definitely gotten all of them now because uh, I'm getting the go talk to the trader um, announcement. I don't care about that. Kind of care about this one, but no. But I guess I'll spare. Oh, it. by the way, there's like the mother load of concrete up here. <laughs> Yeah, doesn't surprise me actually. Given this place, bandolier, reload oh, thirty percent faster. Very nice. Shotgun choke. Yeah, well, sham sandwiches. You're going back in <laughs> can of cat food. You're going back. Multi bread, rotten flesh, they can both be dropped. I'm gonna take apart this generator. Can only imagine it's gonna have some good stuff on it. But it's yeah. such a shame that I can't get the generator bank, but. It's a destroyed one. If it was a um, a functioning one, I think you could have just picked it up. But alas, not for us. Grab you, I think. Yep, this is where Still we destroyed it. I my darn supplies. Oh, I see them. You got them now? Yeah, they were up in this attic. Yeah. Ooh. I'll need to put something back in return for it. Some shirts. What am I wearing currently? Puffer coats. Hooded sweatshirt. 14-2. 14-2. Wear a jacket instead of my hoodie. Oh no, that's the puffer coat. Never mind then. Scrapping them down. Just digging out all this uh, nice concrete here. Mm -hmm. We're going to upgrade our wall with it a bit. Looks like you've done a good job of just loosing everything up here. Well done. There's some things I've had to leave behind because obviously my inventory is totally yeah. full. I've had to drop a fair bit as well. But I was scavenging cars and then I didn't empty my inventory. Oh, right. Yeah, I emptied my inventory and I was still struggling, to be fair. So... No worries, then though. again, we scavenged more cars on the way, so my motorbike is empty, though, so at least we can put stuff into that. And bits of cobble. Uh, honestly, I don't need the large bones anymore. It's kind of silly. I'm just having to consider, well, what can I throw away? What can I throw away? What can I throw away? Because there's so much that I just don't need anymore. But, yeah, we had a I good bit of weapons to see here. if I can put some mods on them and stuff like that, but I don't like doing that when I'm out in the middle of... Um, like, in the middle of a base or whatever, in the yeah. middle of a mission. There we go. I'm going to scrap the pistols that we've got in these weapon bags. And the reinforced chest doesn't matter. Duffel bag, for that, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's it all. Well done, Sheila. There's some nice things in there, yeah. Hmm. I'm going to be really lazy and I'm going to go up through the, the, the roof. Okay, I will, I'll join you. Right, where's the bikes? The bikes are around this side, so I recommend we walk around this side. 
Or I could just fall down. Oh, did you go all the way down? Oh, okay. I fell off the roof so early out. Well, this is my life now. Yep, pretty much. But as you can see, lots of the houses around here are much bigger and more complex in their nature. So this will be quite fun, I should imagine. Oh, it was a little bit ballsy there because I didn't know if that wasn't going to cause me damage. Right. So heavy. Oh. Well, I can't wait to get to the bike. Hop on that with my encumbrance. Won't matter anymore. But on the plus side, tomorrow, we're going to have some awesome stuff to do with the traders. Yeah. And there I was, being so hopeful that we were going to be able to go to the traders tonight. <laughs> that we were going to be able to get out of here happens. in one go. Oh, it does sometimes. Once. It's happened once. I'm going to hold on to that dream. How did you turn your light on again? F. I believe I've got my uh, military hat light on as well. Crikey, that makes a difference though. There we go. Let's go. And with that, we kind of want to be headed home, so... Actually, we're far to the south of our home, so we just want to turn to the north. Look at all those gas barrels, though. Oh, tempting. So tempting. I am encumbered, yes. You are quite correct. I'm on a bike, though, so it does not matter. Uh, that would probably be a zombie bear. Should I Should I risk it? Yep. Ktonk! Goodbye, zombie bear! That's hilarious! <laughs> Enjoy your free trip to the moon! Trying to like stick to the kind uh, of macabre children's tale, isn't it? The bear, uh, the bear on the moon. I mean, it doesn't necessarily need the to be macabre. Bear, the flu, oh, the zombie the bear, yeah, no, okay. Because the zombie, be zombie bear. Definitely becoming the macabre children's I'm tale. Hear a now. spider around somewhere. Uh, I care not for spider shenanigans right now. I'm just going to drive through the snow, I'm up over this hill, and I can see by the fact that your distance to me is not changing that you too. I like to drive up and over the hill. Yes. Now we're on the I road. I just followed you. Anyhow, this will take us straight back to home. Oh, there's a vulture over there. Wow, okay. Out here, of all places. I suppose. Mm. That might follow me all the way back. And if it does, we'll just shoot it when we get back and get the feathers. Yeah. We're getting close-ish to home now. There we go. Perfect. I have to get quite close before it actually draws home. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. Is he still following us? No. Oh. I would like very much to grab anything out of the inventory that I can take. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to have to come back for more. Uh, actually, no, I don't. I can scrap some of this. Uh, I'm going to take that. No. Um. Yeah, I've got loads of things that I need to take back inside with me. This is going to be a uh, two trip to grab all of that stuff, I'm afraid. But once I'm inside, I can start refocusing on taking care of the uh, base instead. I love how initially it was like hide all night. Days for very light scavenging and then frantic building. And then night is for being quiet in the base so nothing hears you and tries to eat your face. Now, now things are different. Yes. Got that, that iron as well. Quickly get rid of that. Armor and clothing. Do I have anything to store? Yes, I've got a helmet. That eight forged steel is, was very good. Yeah, that was actually quite a nice find. Dropping off ammo. Some of which is yours. I'll grab it back again, thank you. You're and I'll put your ammo's away as well. Right, dropping off gas barrels, some nails, oil, um, cobblestone rocks. Oh, we're actually running out of room in our just random gubbins chest. Yes. That's a bit of a concern.
Um, paper can go in there. Yeah, we, we've actually got so much paper now, it's dumb. I'm not sure what we're going to use it for. Can you sell paper to the trader? You can, I think. I think you can, yeah. I'll take out some of the items in there. Oh, we've got a few things in there that probably shouldn't be. Quickly shuffling things around. Or well, not so quickly in some some instances. We don't need that hunting knife. That can be smelted, I think. I got my bandolier, so it's 30% faster reload speed. Very nice. That is legit oh, very, I very my nice. my armor. Yeah, yeah. Well, a bandolier is like worn around you. It's like a bullet belt. Yeah. There we go. Um, some cash. Well, actually, anything in the trader loot chest should actually be coming with me to pop into the bike so that I can just go straight to the trader tomorrow. And that's everything. Okay. I'll go and grab items out of the bike. Thankfully, this isn't Cataclysm that is ahead, so we don't need to worry about the fact that the bike's light is on. It's not going to drain the bike's battery. So the bike's battery is not a thing that we concern ourselves with. It is just there. It just happens. Yep. I'll bring that SMG in and repair it. It may actually be the best SMG we have, in which case I will yeah. keep it and sell whatever else we've got. But until we're at the point where we're able to make our own materials, uh, our own bullets, I strongly feel that we can't afford to yet um, use only guns on a Horde Knight or, or anything like that, unfortunately. No, no, absolutely not. Like, I'm still only using it for an emergency. You see people like, who've got loads of ammo and they just go around and they don't even use a crossbow or anything anymore and you see like that must be quite late late game but that would be quite nice yeah i know just um... constantly go around just using a gun forge oh. steel please and more of that oh we need clay yeah, clay is really what's holding us back at this point. Yeah, I was out. Go I was out with what I was going to do after I did the cars, but then we went questing and it lasted all day. <laughs> yeah. uh, you've so left next episode, maybe we'll... You've left your fire axe in the base, by the way. I don't know if you tend oh. to keep all of your tools on you at all times. I'm not sure. No, no, I just didn't pick it up yet. Because you... Where did you put it for me in the, in the tools? It's in the... Well, it was in the tools chest. So... I just happened oh, to be yeah. where it was. I didn't put it there. No, no, I've got, a, I've got an iron fire axe on me. But you made me one of you as well. Oh, you hadn't picked it up yet. Oh, right, right. Where's my steel yeah. one? Oh, there it in is. The Thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes, I just hadn't picked it up yet. That's all. I need four cobblestone arches and two rebar. And then the... Oh, damn it, I did what the zombies keep doing. And then the... Uh, Ramp lead up is complete. Two rebar, please. One pop. Forge steel we got. 14. That's not enough for me to be able to use it to make any meaningful repairs, so. that. Uh, right, okay. Heading back up. And once this concrete is then set, I can pop in the arches. And this will be a nice little, uh, nice little section in here. Kind of hidden away. Do you have any... Oh, we got 14 wood. Alright, you need more than that. I've got eight, 869 on me. Oh, could you check me just a couple of hundred? I just want to make the floor for that room. Yeah, by all means. I'll be in the yeah. courtyard. Here we are. 
Thank you. I just came in through the, uh, over the, uh, bridge. Now uh. then, how big of an area do we want out here? I mean, I could have two areas of five or something a bit bigger. I think we want bigger. Perhaps I should grab some wooden frames first to lay out a plan for it. Although I could use rebar, thinking about it. No reason to go for, for wood. Yeah, because you can always pick rebar up. Yeah. Should really be smelting all of these things down. The brass serves no purpose outside of the forge. So, with that in mind, let's drop all of these things off so they can be smelted down later. So, over here, I'm thinking of having the f the ramp in line with this. That's the four there. Um, and perhaps some sort of lip going around. The, the actual floor for this area will be around here. And there's a witch outside. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see. If we have a five by five down below, that would be a five by five. This marks the uh, internal aperture. I'm going to have to deal with that. There's a witch after. outside. Yeah. Go say hello to her. Hello. I'm going to make a scream. Yep. There we go. And now we wait. Hopeful like. She got many friends coming? Oh yeah, there we are. Yeah, they come. Where's your friend, Screamer? Yeah, they are. They're on their way. And did you three screams? Yeah, I'd say so. I'm not seeing any other Screamers around. Here comes her glow-in-the-dark friend. I'll shoot you in the head while you're there. And again, if I can. And again, if I can. There we go. She's oh, helmeted, uh, irradiated. Oh, hello. Well, I wasn't expecting that little inside. buddy. He will be in a moment. Yeah, he is. And I'm bleeding. Thank you. Well, actually, I thought I was bleeding. No, it's just blood splatters. Okay, I think it's time for us to take her out then. Oh, good shot. She's the second one. Thank you. I already took out the initial one. Oh, right, okay. That was She's four. obviously her, her little friend. Well, uh, you know, I'm glad she had friends. Nothing sadder in the world than the screamer who screams and no one answers. In a bit of an awkward angle on them, but it's not too bad once you account for it. Yeah. On this thing. It's like we're having a. This horde is significantly worse than the, the hordes on the first night, so it, it's kind of at this point like we're having a horde every night. Because there's almost, almost always a screamer that we can uh, trigger by just letting off the fire and forge burn. Oh, you got the shots here. Mm -hmm. so, oh, there we go. Head pop. Oh, that was a terrible shot. I don't even know why I took that shot. There's still one down there. Where she is, I don't know. There she is. She's coming up. What on earth is that shot? Embarrassing is what that shot was. <laughs> Okay, sorted. Nice work. Oh, cool! I like this. Yeah. I don't entirely know what you're, where you're going with it, but 
I like the start of it. Well, I'm thinking of having the uh, the ramp. There, there'd be a little bit of a ramp coming down into here. Mm -hmm. And this being the actual uh, the area that we're going to have the... Um, nice. Because it's only too high, so we can easily reach up from here. But I'm thinking of having it a lot wider than this. Maybe even as wide as this, if I'm honest. Mm. I want to try and bring it out perhaps as far as here. About there. Would be the furthest corner of it. Because we don't strictly need this area for anything. No. So something along these lines is what I'm thinking. It's, now that's quite a large area, to be fair. But I think yes. it would be good. At that point, let's uh, hack this down. Maybe even on this side. Yeah, I, I kind of like the idea of having th there be a, a lower section to it, but with a, a, a wider lip. So this would be a um, a cylinder, so like a, a supporting uh, cylinder of some sort. And out here we'd have the lip leading up. Mm -hmm. It'd be on par with there. But everything inside here would be about that low down. So something like okay. that. Do you see what I'm designing there? So would there be like, so this would be like a platform that we would park on? Yeah, exactly. Because I want to make it large enough that it would be able to support the uh, larger vehicles. Mm -hmm. So something somewhat like this would be our parking area. That was cool. And the bit that I'm digging out could almost be... Um... Below this, yeah. Yeah. Because we would expand the walkways out to have a uh, a room for us to put basically a, 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 an array of dump chests. So once we've parked the vehicles up there, because I'll be putting the floor as metal bars, you can walk underneath, mm -hmm. look up, access the inventory, look straight down through the metal bars, access some sort of large crate down there, drop things into it. And then the room below that... Ooh. The one that you're excavating right now on the lowest level would be our workshop. And so you look straight yeah. up, the ceiling is your dump chest. You can move things around to the correct location and have easy access to anything you need for your for your, uh, your crafting. And stuff. Yeah. yeah, that would be my, my plan, if anyway. So, anyway. yeah, it's, uh, it is morning. Morning has crapped up on us. In the next episode, we're going to be going over to the trader to say hello, and drop off a couple of things. And I'm of course, uh, yeah, prepare for Horde Night, because that has definitely snuck up on us. Oh, yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. I thought you might have forgotten, but that's going to be it from us. Thank you so much for joining us. We both hope you are enjoying the series. But until next time, do take care, everyone. And keep being awesome. <laughs>